When we face challenges and setbacks, it's not the act of falling that defines our failure, but the choice to remain down. Just like when you tumble into a pool. Sinking isn't because you fell in, but because you don't make the effort to swim to the surface. This concept is mirrored in the wisdom of the Bible. As it is written in the scriptures in Proverbs 24, verse 16, For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again. This passage highlights the importance of perseverance, encouraging us to rise each time we stumble. Failing is not the end of the road, but a part of the journey toward achievement. Every misstep is an opportunity for growth, transformation, and improvement. It teaches us, shapes us, and equips us for the challenges ahead. The Bible says in Romans 8 verse 28, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. This reminds us that every experience, including our failures, is part of God's plan to shape us into the people we are meant to be. Many are held back by the fear of failure, worried that a single mistake might define their entire journey. But consider the story of Michael Jordan, who missed more than 9,000 shots in his career. His persistence in the face of failure made him one of the greatest basketball players of all time. This teaches us a valuable lesson. Success is not about never falling, but about how many times you get back up and try again. Society often tells us that if we fail, we should just give up. But that's not the message of faith. The fear of making a mistake can paralyze us, preventing us from pursuing our true calling. However, moving forward means occasionally stumbling. This is part of the process. History is filled with individuals who face numerous rejections and failures before achieving great success. Their stories teach us that perseverance is key. In faith, we are taught that failure is not final. Thus says the Lord in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This verse reassures us that God has a plan for each of us, one that includes rising above our failures and mistakes. Peter's story is particularly inspiring. After denying Jesus, he might have been considered a failure, yet the Lord forgave him and used him to accomplish great things. This illustrates that our mistakes do not define our worth or our potential in God's eyes. Thus says the Lord in John 21 verse 15 to 17, through Jesus' conversation with Peter, reaffirming his love and trust in him despite his past denial. Therefore, let us not be deterred by the fear of failure. Instead, let's learn from our mistakes and keep moving forward, knowing that with faith, perseverance, and God's guidance, we can overcome any obstacle and fulfill our divine purpose. Remember, your journey isn't about the times you've fallen, but about the moments you rise, learn, and continue to march forward. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, sovereign and almighty God, who spoke the universe into existence and breathed life into our beings. We approach your throne of grace with hearts bowed in reverence and spirits lifted in gratitude. In the vast expanse of your creation, amidst the intricate details of this world, we stand in awe of your power, your wisdom, and your love for us. Though we are but a whisper in the wind, a fleeting shadow in the grand tapestry of time, you know us by name and cherish us as your beloved children. We thank you, O Lord, for the gift of life, for each new day that breaks with promises anew, for the stillness of the night that offers rest to our bodies and solace to our souls. Your creation is a testament to your majesty from the towering mountains that reach towards the heavens to the depths of the oceans that teem with life all speak of your glory and creativity. 
in your boundless grace, you have bestowed upon us the miracle of life, entrusting us with the stewardship of this earth and the fellowship of one another. For the blessings of family and friends, for the love that binds us, and for the communities that sustain us, we offer our heartfelt thanks. As we navigate the ebb and flow of our lives, we are ever mindful of our need for your guiding hand. In times of joy, we seek to share our happiness in the light of your love. In moments of trial, we look to you for strength and refuge, for you are our rock and our fortress, a steadfast presence in the shifting sands of our world. We lift up to you, O oh God, those among us who are burdened with pain, whether of body, mind, or spirit. May your healing touch bring comfort to those who suffer, offering hope where there is despair and peace where there is turmoil. Grant us the compassion to reach out to those in need, to bear one another's burdens, and to offer the balm of your love to the wounded hearts around us. In a world marred by division and strife, we pray for your wisdom to guide our steps and your light to illuminate our paths. Help us to be agents of reconciliation, building bridges of understanding and channels of peace. Teach us to listen with open hearts, to speak with kindness, and to act with justice, following the example of your Son, Jesus Christ, who came not to be served, but to serve. For our families, we ask for your blessing of harmony and joy. Make our homes havens of your love, where your word is cherished, your grace abounds, and your name is glorified. Protect our loved ones from harm, guide them in the way of righteousness, and provide for their needs according to your riches in glory. We pray for our children that they may grow in the knowledge and love of you, instill in them a foundation of faith that will sustain them through life's challenges, inspire them to dream boldly, and empower them to make a difference in the world. For our elders, we ask for a sense of purpose and a legacy of faith to pass on to future generations. In our personal walk with you, Lord, we seek a deeper intimacy, a more profound understanding of your word, and a greater alignment with your will. Cultivate in us a heart of worship, a spirit of obedience, and a life of service. Teach us the beauty of prayer, the power of forgiveness, and the joy of selfless love. As we look to the future, we entrust our hopes and dreams to you, knowing that your plans for us are for good and not for harm, to give us a future filled with hope. Guide our decisions, direct our steps, and use our lives for your glory. Now we pray for blessings upon us, our families, our communities, and our world. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Let it reign in our homes, our cities, and our nations, healing divisions and uniting us in love. May your joy be our strength, a wellspring of gladness in our hearts, irrespective of our circumstances. Teach us to find contentment in your presence and to rejoice always in your goodness. May your love flow through us, a river of compassion and grace that reaches the lonely, the outcast, and the broken. Help us to love as you love without reservation or condition. May your provision meet our every need according to your glorious riches. Bless the work of our hands, multiply our resources, and teach us to be generous, sharing with those in need. May your protection be upon us, a shield that guards us from danger, guides us through temptation, and grants us peace in the midst of life's storms. May your strength be made perfect in our weakness. When we face trials, when we walk through valleys of shadow, be our fortress and our deliverer. May your wisdom illuminate our choices, guide our decisions, and give us insight for the journey ahead. Grant us discernment to distinguish your voice from the noise of the world. 
May your grace abound in us, a testament of your forgiveness and a call to a life transformed. Help us to extend grace to others, reflecting your mercy and kindness. As we stand on the threshold of tomorrow, we do so with faith in your promises, hope in your salvation, and love that binds us to you and to one another. We commit our lives afresh to you, ready to serve, eager to witness your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Bless us, O Lord, with the courage to face each day, with confidence in your sovereignty, the wisdom to choose our paths according to your will, and the strength to carry out your commands. Let our lives be a living testimony to your grace, a beacon of hope in a weary world, and a declaration of your unfailing love. Together, with one voice, across the breadth of your church, we offer this prayer in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, through whom all blessings flow. Amen.